1911 through 1930. Now those who have been scalped by the persecution in connection with Stephen, Trella, as well as Phoenicia, Cyprus, and Antioch, telling the message only to Jews. Some of them, however, men from Cyprus and Cyrene, Cyrene went to Antioch and began to speak to Greeks, also telling them the good words about the Lord Jesus, the Lord's hand was with them, and a great number of people believed and turned to the Lord. News of this reached the ears of the church at Jerusalem, and they sent Boniface to Antioch. When he, when he arrived and saw the evidence of the grace of God, he was glad and encouraged them all to remain true to the Lord with all their hearts. He was a good man, full of the Holy Spirit and faith, and a great number of, of people were brought to, to the Lord. Then Barnabas went to Talbot to look for Saul, and when he found him, he brought him to Antioch. So far, so for a whole year, Barnabas and Saul met with the church and taught great number of people. Disciples were called Christians first, first at Antioch. During this time, some prophets came down from Jerusalem to Antioch. One of them named Agabus stood up and and through the Spirit predicted that a several, several, a famine would spread over the entire Roman world. This happened during the region of Columbus. The disciples, each according to his ability, decided to, to provide help for the Bible's living in Judea. This they did, sending their gift to the elders by Barnabas and Saul.